what is it like being out there with everyone, with the biggest talents of Britain? It is absolutely extraordinary. Um, it's, I mean, I'm fortunate enough this isn't my first Royal Variety, but it surprises me every time. The mix of people backstage. I mean, we've got diversity. We've got Kylie wandering around. We've got all of Girls Aloud looking like beautiful black mermaids. One Direction, and then Jimmy Tarbuck and Ronnie Corbett and Pudsey. And, I mean, it's just ridiculous. It is actually a bit like being backstage at Britain's Got Talent with the variety of talent, but the, the celebrities and the huge names. I mean, I'm in awe. I love Bruce Forsyth. Just giving him the most massive hug. You just think, you know, it's legendary, all this. I've got to remember it all. Do you have a sense of pride, you know, when you see Ashley and Pudsey? Do you feel like, oh, Absolutely, and you know, I've, I've always have my favourite acts from Britain's Got Talent. I publicly talk about Stavros Flatley all the time, but, but I think this year for me um, was the cream for a dog to win the show. It just epitomised what variety for me is all about, which isn't always about singing and dancing, but sort of acts that people wouldn't necessarily think could possibly win a show. And to show that you know, Pudsey did shows that Britain is a massive dog loving nation, so and they are hugely talented. If you were going to organise Amanda Holden day out with the Queen, where would you take her? Best day? I'd probably see if she'd come to, on a Friday at my daughter Lexi's school, they have show and tell. So I would kind of want to know if she would come round for show and tell, because there's a very famous actor at my daughter's school, and he won an Oscar recently, and he took his Oscar in for show and tell. And all the mums looked at me like, match that, and I thought, OK, I'll take the Queen. <laughs> See if she'll come. It's in queue. She can pop next door to the palace and have a little cup of tea. You'd be the most popular mum ever. Oh my God, can you imagine? Um, talk us through British Talent next season. We are all back on board, all four of us. Um, Alicia and I and David actually saw each other the other week. And I think we are more excited this year because now we all know each other. We've got all that out of the way. We all know how each other work. So we can actually sit back and relax. And I am so looking forward to seeing what else David pulls out of the bag to embarrass Simon. And whether Simon will tolerate it this year or whether, you know, now he's kind of over it. Um, so, yeah, I can't wait. And in your um, BGT crystal ball, do you think maybe a singer, a winner? Like a... For me, I have no clue, because obviously I don't know what's coming. I would love to see a comedian win. Being a comedian on our show is the most difficult thing in the world. But I, that was, I would love, I can't tip one to win because I haven't seen any acts yet, but that's what I'd love to win the show this year, next year, 2013. Well, we can't wait to see you. Thank you.